guys, so today this video is going to be all about my brows. I get questions all the time on how I do my brows. There isn't just one specific product that I usually go to. I usually use multiple products in order to achieve the brow that I want. Um, I'm going to show you all the brow products that I'm currently using um, because again, I don't just use one. So I usually start my brow with the Bravo Conditioner, um, yeah, the Bravo Bravo Conditioning Primer by Benefit. Um, I found, and I don't know if it's just because I can see them now, so I do tint my eyebrows, but I find that I'm I'm missing spots. So I like to use this because it's not only a conditioner, it does kind of help them grow. They don't say that it helps them grow because I guess they can't, but um, I've noticed that mine have gotten a little bit thicker since I've been using them. So these are my favorite brow pencils at the moment. I have the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil, the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. I've also been using the Pro Sculpting Brow by Makeup Forever. All three of these um, have more of that triangular tip Kind of similar to this guy. It's really hard. Anyways, yes, there we go. So it has that triangle tip. All three of these have the exact same one as well as a spoolie on the end. I typically go for these if I'm in a rush um, because they're super easy. You don't have to fuss. I can get a brow on in like 30 seconds. Um, yeah, so I'm loving these. They're all pretty much in the same shade. Um, these ones I tend to go to a little bit more just because my hair is a little bit warmer. This one is um, a little bit more on the cooler side. So if I've just tinted my eyebrows, um, I'll usually go with this one because my eyebrows are usually a little bit on the cooler side. They don't necessarily match my hair, but it works. Um, another favorite of mine is if I want to add a little bit of extra detail, I use the Brow Wiz in Blonde. Um, by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one, and I'm sure you've all seen it, it's a very, very fine, it's a very, very fine pencil, so it gets that little bit of extra detail in the front. So another favorite of mine, which I use pretty often, especially when I'm doing a bolder look, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. Um, I've also used the Cabrow by Benefit. Um, similar in formula, I find that the Dip Brow is a little bit more creamy and this one's a little bit drier formula. So if you tend to mess up a little bit more with this one, this might be um, a better option for you because it's a little bit more foolproof. To set my brow, um, the Ready Set Brow by Benefit, awesome, it's like super glue, my brows do not move all day. So let's get into it. Eh? So on a regular basis, I usually just go straight for my dip brow if I'm doing a bolder look on my eyes, but for the point process of this video, because I do tend to reach for them a little bit more, um, I'll do all the steps so you can see what it looks like. Cool. So I'm going to start with the conditioning brow or the brow bow conditioning primer by Benefit. I like to take a couple clicks. It says you only need one, but sometimes it doesn't come out in the first one. So, all right, so there we go. So I took a click of the brow bow conditioning primer and I'm just going to start just brushing it through my eyebrows. This is a nice way too, if you, if you are grooming your eyebrows and you kind of want to see the shape of it. I usually put the brow bow in first and then I will trim right around it. Or you can just go get a wax like a normal person, but I haven't had time, so. So that's basically what it looks like with and without the primer. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. Super cute. So basically I like doing this because it helps lay down the shape of the brow as well. And you can see a little bit more where you're putting things. I'm going to be using the Dip Brow Pomade just because I do find that it's a little bit harder for people to use. So I'm going to be using the number 12 brush by Anastasia with the Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde. So what I like to do is so I like to grab it a little bit on either side of my brush and then I take the cap 
and just work it into my brush. So almost taking away the excess so you don't have a lot on it. And you don't need a lot, honey. So basically with the brush, what I like to do is start at the tail end and then work my way forward. Right where the arch starts going up, that's where I'm gonna position my first little stroke. So kind of like that guy. And I'm gonna follow my tail like that. From there, I like to just slowly bring that product upwards. I like to have more emphasis on the bottom portion of my brow as opposed to the top. So I find that if you slowly bring the product up, it just kind of disappears as you go and blends out nicely. So you don't have like a harsh line at the top of your brow and the bottom, if you get what I'm saying. I'm not about that life, so. And then from there, connect the tail. All right, so from there, I barely have anything on my brush and that's how we want to leave it. I'm going to start, I'm going to start forming the front of my brow very lightly. All right, and then I will slowly bring that product forward. So as I'm moving forward, I'm going with the hairs. So right here, I'm gonna do my brush a little bit more angled. And at the front, I flip my brush upwards so it's straight up. And I'm doing little hair-like movements here. And at this point, I am just blending it in with each other. And that's the brow. So it can be very quick. I just find a lot of people use way too much and it ends up being that like big blocked out Bert eyebrow, which is not cute. Um, so yeah, that was with the smallest amount of product you guys saw how much I used. I'm gonna do it again on the other eye so you guys can see. What's nice about this brow pomade is it can look like a pencil if you do it very, very lightly, but it lasts forever. So I've had mine, oh gosh, like maybe like four months already, and I still have like tons of it left. So it can last pretty much a year. Like I do my eyebrows with it almost every day, but other than that, it lasts forever. So, so you guys will see this brow is a little bit more rounded than this one. This one has more of an arch. So it's nice with the pomade because you can actually fake the brow. So I'm gonna grab, or from here, I'm just going to shape it into a point. And I'm actually gonna grab a little bit more. So I'm grabbing the product that's in the lid. I'm just gonna put a little bit extra There. So now they look the same. So if you ever have any sparsity in your eyebrow, like right here I have um, a scar and that so hair doesn't grow there. So when I go to fill it in, I'm going to add a little bit of extra product in that spot. So see right here, you can still see it. So I'm just going to grab a little bit more from the lid. And I'm gonna draw, just flick some hairs up. And it fills that bad boy in. Because I do it so lightly, I don't find that I really need to use the spoolie to brush through it. If you find that you put too much product, then by all means just have at her. Um, but the way that I do my strokes, it still looks as if it's hair. So I don't find that 
I need to do that. I don't want to brush anything out. I like how it is right now. With the pomade, I don't find that I need to use uh, a pencil at all. I basically just usually leave it like this and then go about my day. It is waterproof and it does, I find, hold down my brows throughout the day, so I typically don't put anything. Um, for the purpose of this video though, I'm going to. Um, so pretending that this is a pencil, what I would typically do is grab my, my gimme brow and I would basically just comb a little bit of this through. And what's nice about this is it has a very, very tiny, a very, very tiny brush. So you can actually get it all in your brow without causing a big mess like some do I find, some brow gels. But it's nice that this one's tiny. So I just brush up and then I brush my hairs down. Just to give a little bit more volume. So the last step is the setting process. So what I use is the Ready Set Brow to basically glue down my eyebrows. So the wand is flat on one side and it's very, very skinny. It has bristles on either side. So what I like to do is take it flat and mostly on the ends just kind of lay the glue down and then from there I don't like putting a lot of glue in the front because I find it just looks um, like glue uh, but basically from there and you can see as soon as I brush it up all of the hairs just like go up like that but what I do is I just take my brush and brush it back down So basically like this, my eyebrows are glued down and will not move all day. So again, just laying it flat, getting the product on there, and then combing it through. And then lastly, I'm just going to put a little bit of highlight under my brows. I typically don't use the concealer thing and carve out my brows. Maybe I'm old fashioned, but I like, to, like it to look a little bit more natural. Does that make sense? So I'm just gonna take any champagne -y or shimmery shade, highlight shade, and just highlight under the brow. So this is how I do my brows. I hope you guys learned something today. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and what you would like to see um, in future videos. And I will see you next time. Bye.